This is pretty sick. This is crazy photo. Yeah, this one is... This one is dope. Welcome back guys, welcome back to another POV. This time, this time we were shooting car. This is my car. And it's it's right after the lockdown is over here in Poland. This is the first day we can legally go out for a walk, uh, for jogging or anything like that. So photo shooting is one of these one of those things and yeah i decided to take my car on a ride clean it a bit and and have a photo shoot with it so hopefully you will enjoy i will also share some tips with you uh, basic tips for, mostly for beginners and mostly obvious tips but yeah gonna be shooting with a7r3 uh, as always uh, we'll be shooting with um, 85 1.4 Sigma uh, but I also have some different things with me but let's start with 85 and we then switch to 35 as I wanted to have some close-ups and details like rims and some other things okay so let's start with 85 it's kind of hard to position your car I mean a car by yourself it's always nice to have someone to help you with it but i tried and i think it's pretty good uh it was just the third uh attempt yeah that was the third attempt so it's not bad and oh by the way sorry for my voice uh i have to i have to wear a mask that's the one of the reasons uh, i mean not reason it's the one of the things we could go out if we are wearing masks. Uh, ISO 100, F2.8, no. Uh, let's switch it to F1.8, 1.2.0, 1.6, okay. Yeah, something like that. So as you can see the distance is pretty heavy right now it's 85 i thought the background will be more compressed than this and yeah this is the first position i wanted to go straight for the first couple of shots then we will switch to the ferry forward or however you call it with the wheel slightly turned left or right depends on the on the sun but look look how the sun uh, is shining over the car it's like a perfect spot right now so let's take this advantage and Oops, so, uh... so as, as usual this is just the warm-up and I wanted to take a few shots, standard shots. And I will probably move the car a little bit forward, but it's, it's gonna be difficult because someone is there, so. Okay. So we have a front and I think I will switch to 35. Okay, so let's warm up a bit more. Tip number one, location. You want to find a good location for your car. It doesn't have to be like, you know, like perfect location, but you want to find a, a good spot interesting spot that your car will be a really nice addition addition to that spot and as you can see this is a standard parking lot there is nothing super exciting here but i wanted to have a concrete something in the bag 
not too busy because if you find the background too busy uh, it's gonna be hard to focus on the car and you want to uh, potential viewers be focused on your car uh, especially especially if, you, if this is your car <laughs> so uh, this is the tip number one uh, you can you can find it any kind of location using Google Maps I'm using Google Maps for all of my locations tip number two time uh, time is important it's not only about the time during the day uh, like which one we, where you want to show like golden hour blue maybe not blue hour for, for carta photography but evening noon whatever uh, of course avoid noon as as much as you can it's the, the light is too harsh it's really hard to shoot during noon it's also about having a time so you don't want to rush with things you don't want to uh, go crazy with things you know you, you want to have a plenty of time so your shooting will be um, interesting I mean you can find different angles and uh, different positions make make it special right you can make every session special You have to plan your uh, photo session uh, according to how much time you have or how much time you could have. And in my opinion, it's it's always better to have a more more than less time for a, any kind of photo shoot. But in terms of car photography, you want to have like hours, like two, three hours for photo shoot, not for planning not for thinking about location looking for location driving around and okay let's my god this rim is this rim isn't clean jesus shit it's not clean at all I hope you can see anything from this uh, it's kind of bright right now so tip number one location tip number two time and the last tip is obviously a car you want to show something right you can't shoot like anything I will not I will not tell you the, the model or anything like that uh, you can practice with everything but I'm sure you want to show it on Instagram or Facebook you want to make it you want to make it special right so it's kind of hard to imagine a uh, let's call it poor car or cheap car being hyped or uh, uh, let's call it banger right so it's it's kind of hard even it's even harder to shoot cheaper car than pricey one that's for sure uh, so tip number three if you want to plan if you want to plan your, your car session uh, try to pick try to pick a good car let's change the position we are still on the 35 1.4 sigma minus 072 exposure because the the, the light is kind of still bright so a few shots a few shots of, of the front with the wheel turn like this looks looks pretty good 
I already see it. It looks good. And I think this spot, this part of the parking is, is better than the one on above. Okay, so as you can see, it's nothing more than uh, just looking for different angles, and that's pretty pretty much it. You look for different position of the car, different angle angles for your camera, and yeah, that's it. Okay. So as you can see I'm looking for different solutions, here I like this uh, metallic lines and here we have a beautiful, beautifully compressed background, um, but uh, Oh. Yeah, let's make a few from the top. And I think I will have a, a few distance shot uh, with one with 70 to 200, like from the spot. Dobre. We have a competition. <laughs> Just joking. So I realized it's not a super exciting video. It was just to show you how you can shoot. Yeah, this one is a beast. Let's put it 200, right? So the sun is going down and we have some reflections on the glass on the front window. Uh, I'm still waiting for my polarizer. That's a cool thing to shoot with 70 to 200. Um, No matter if it, if, it, if it is a street photography or a wedding or product photography, maybe not product photography, but anything, they could use it. Gonna be sick. Let's take some advantage of this lighting, right? That's a, that's a good that's a good spot not sure if I can catch it like this but no. <sighs> one hour of wearing this mask and peace
okay, okay, okay. It's always easier to shoot silver rims instead of black one. And you know why you lose every detail, detail on the rim. Yeti. On the on the top of the building right there so yeah I wanted to include that on the photo let's check it if I can make it so yeah I'm gonna wait a few more minutes And this is the perfect timing, for me at least. Love these moody colors. It will be easier to edit uh, on my new feed style. This is pretty sick. This is crazy photo. Yeah, this one is... This one is dope. Look at the reflections on, on the left and on the bottom. Jesus. And it's sun. I mean, it's still gonna be the same angle, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's finish this photo shoot with proper sunset photo. We are ready to go. And that was the first car photo shoot on this channel. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. See you around. See you in the next one.